Today, everybody, I'm meeting up with MDK Collects, formerly known as a Funko Popcast, and we're gonna be going around to a bunch of different stores, so let's get going. And now, everybody, just like that, we are in front of Toys R Us. Let's go inside and see what's new. We've got Dylan filming in front of me, but I figured I might as well show you guys the entire section before I get into it. There is a lot of stuff. Here's just a couple exclusives, and I'm probably gonna be picking up something today. Which I know with the amount of characters they've got is kind of surprising. Only one character, but there is one that I was on the hunt for. And the one that I'm talking about was this black light Santa Jack Skellington. I don't think I have ever seen it here in Canada, and I definitely need it for my collection, so let's go for it. And then over here on the left side, guys, I noticed that they do have the WinterCon President Loki. Ooh, okay, I can see why it's here still. The box is not looking great. There's a bunch of dings on the top here, but it's still a really cool figure if you wanted to take it out of the box. Then I noticed up in the top here, guys, they did get in the Snoop Dogg Pop album, which is definitely a cool thing to see, and I was able to pick one up a little while ago, and if I'm gonna be honest, I'm kind of surprised I got it here at Toys R Us. I don't know if they really want a kid to see see the Snoop Dogg dog, but whatever, it's cool. And then actually, speaking of Snoop Dogg, down at the end here, they had this one as well, like the kind of like younger version of him with the afro, which I really enjoy seeing, as well as a bunch of the Jeffrey the Drafts, which we pretty much see every time we come, as well as like Madam Web up top there, a bunch of the Jurassic World ones. And then going left, oh, some Supermans, Bella Porch. Actually, I saw another one too, this one here. The one of her sitting, that one's pretty cool. And then I think besides that, I guess they also got in some Piplups, which is pretty cool. I'm hoping they get in more Pokemon ones, especially the new ones that they announced recently. And I think that's pretty much it for here. Yeah, it looks like it. So let's get that Santa Jack Skellington and let's get out of here. Okay, so we're out of Toys R Us. I ended up getting the one Funko Pop that you guys saw as well as two sodas, but that's not where the hunt ends. Let's go over to GameStop. And now the first spot I found isn't even the normal Pops, actually. They've actually got this little one up at the front here with like some of the ones from Bullet Train, Pinocchio. Down at the bottom, we've got like the Infinity Saga t-shirt bundles. And then over here, ooh, hold up a second. Now, I don't know if I'm gonna be grabbing this today, but they do have the Glow in the Dark Female Titan, which definitely looks neat. And then a little bit lower, we've got like Spinner, a couple of him, Scar, and then a few more from both those shows. And then back here, guys, it looks like they've got a couple of the t-shirt bundles, as well as some of the Bounty Hunter collection still, which I'm honestly surprised about, especially with that price there for 26 bucks. And then I think this one, yeah, see, normally down here, they're like 35, so kind of crazy. And then Savage Opus, I did pick up the other day as well as the fully holified Ichigo. We checked, there's no chase here. And then we also have the Harley Quinn with cards, which I did pick up the other day, but it's definitely still a cool figure. I mean, that's the reason I picked it up, because I liked it so much. And then also, looking around a little bit more, huh, if I'm gonna be honest, there really isn't much that's crazy besides the front stuff that we already looked at. So I'm probably not gonna be getting anything here, but then again, it's always good to check. So as you guys could probably tell, I did not pick up anything over at GameStop. I was thinking about it, they had a couple of the She-Hulk sodas, but I don't wanna risk it today, so now, they're actually taking me over to this kind of like secret spot over here downstairs. I've never been here before. It's called Toy Trove, but I'm pretty excited about it. Yeah, like take a look at this, guys. You gotta go down the stairs. It says it's closed. Oh, no. What time's it open at? January 12th. 12th? <laughs> <laughs> Tomorrow. Never mind. Hold on, guys. Never mind. They came outside. We're going in. Alrighty, so we are inside, guys, and I feel like I'm gonna have to come back here with Nate in the future because they have a lot of Pokemon cards as well as Funko Pops. Like, seriously, take a look at this, guys. I've got a bunch of the Pikachu and Zekrom boxes, some of the Charizard Premium Collection box, like a bunch of amazing stuff. And now here is their pop section, guys, and seriously, there is a lot of great stuff, and I noticed that it's not even the same figures behind them, so we're gonna be doing a lot of digging today. Look, look at that, guys, the Imperial Palace Robin, and then over here, what do we got behind this one? Ooh, Dr. Facilier. So seriously, a lot of cool stuff, and also check this out, guys. They've got the Raphael black and white chase over here. Oh, him filming me, filming me. <laughs> no, 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 you're good. Look at that. <laughs> Anyways, guys, then back over here, we've got like the Harry Potter ones, dog meat, which is really great. And ooh, I don't, do I have this one? If I'm gonna be honest, I'm not 100% sure. So we're gonna have to pass on it for today. And maybe if I don't have it, we'll come back eventually and pick that one up. But looking around a little bit more, like who do we have back here? Belle, as well as Polka Dot Man. You can kind of see the side here as well, which makes it a bit easier. The Batman from the Batman, Mr. Mime. Ooh, I did not see this. I might have to go for the Golden Vault Boy. Just because this is such a weird character that you don't see very often. Like, when's the last time you guys saw this? And then also a little bit lower, guys, I'm noticing that they've got like some more of them, like the Michelangelo, and 
I seriously have to do some digging because I think every, like I said, every single one of these is different behind them. Yeah, I'm gonna have to do some looking around. And then down at the bottom right, I noticed that they have some of the Attack on Titan ones, like the newer wave, as well as Doom. Ooh, Space Marine from Doom. Now that is cool because I actually talked about this one recently in my Fortnite video. Yeah, that's really cool to see. And then we've got one more section over here on the side, and it looks like they've got some of the Monster Hunter ones, and I swear I saw, yeah, here it is right here, guys. The other one from Doom, and it's funny how this one and the other figure, the exact same price, but it totally makes sense because Doom Guy is a pretty cool one. And now this one here, guys, might be one that I'm going for, the Captain Rex. It's $34. It was from these Smuggler's Bounty Boxes, and I never was able to get those because they didn't ship to Canada. So I think, I think I'm probably gonna have to go for it today. And then also taking a look behind, I just wanna see if there's anything that I can see. Like, I think I see Laura Croft back there, actually. I don't know if you guys can see that in the middle. I don't know if I'm going for it, but it's a neat figure. And then going a little lower here, we've got like the 25th anniversary Squirtle, and I just noticed that these go three back, so they've got like the Super Heracule there, and some Squid Game ones. What do we got over here? Ooh, Lucha Libre. Ooh, this is great. I'm really enjoying this, guys. Uh, Mojo Jojo, April O'Neil, which I don't have, Sasuke, ooh, okay, this one I'm probably gonna go for, the Green Lantern, yeah, I need this. And then I noticed a little bit lower, guys, they've got like the Rick face hugger, which is really cool, and oh, behind that, look at that, they've got a Dungeons and Dragons one, which I haven't seen in a while, actually. And for only 12 bucks, I mean, you can't complain about that. And now let's see, what else do they got down here? Some of the turtles, sell first form, I don't know, guys, there's just so much cool stuff. And now I know you pointed this out to me, so I figured I might as well show it, and also, this is kind of interesting, and I feel like I should probably talk about this, the backpack that you guys showed off, because this here, guys, doesn't just have Charizard and Charmander, it also has Charmeleon, so you never know. Will we be getting a pop in the future? Hopefully. Let's hope so. Now, I gotta say, guys, Toy Tro was a really cool store, and I'm definitely gonna be going there again in the future, probably to pick up some more Pokemon cards and maybe some pops. But anyways, now we're over at the mall with a bunch of different stores, so let's go in. So our first stop over at the mall is going to be Sunrise Records, and taking a look, it already looks like some decent stuff. Like, they have a pretty big section of stuff today. And now now I heard when it comes to this Zeus here, actually from you, yeah. Mitch. I want, so you said that you paid <laughs> a lot more. Thirty dollars for that one. So thirty. Recommend against it. Okay. Well, I just want to see if it really was thirty bucks for all of them. Still. Oh, there's no price. Oh. Oh, well, I'll take your word for it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take it the cash. I mean, the good news is, guys, I do already have this one in the collection. So if it is $30, we are not going to be adding it today. <laughs> Watch out when you come in here for that one. Oh, and now up here, guys, check this one out. They've got Kearney from The Simpsons. I believe I showed this one off last time we were here, but it looks like they still have a couple if somebody needs one. And then taking a look around a little bit more, they always have the Candyman figures. They do have Tupac, which is pretty cool, as well as a bunch of the Pocket Pops and Funko Gold. And honestly, I think that's probably about it for here. Like they did have where did it go? Ah ha ha. This one, again, one that I saw last time, but I figured I might as well show it again. The Britney Spears, which I believe wasn't even over at New York Comic Con. Like maybe it was only available online. There was something weird going on with this one. But anyways, really cool to see here today. And I guess let's just keep going. Okay, now I'm over in the section. If I'm gonna be honest, I don't really see much that I'm super excited about like that I don't already have. Because like down here we've got like Pinocchio and Cricket, which I do really like, but I already have the figure as well as Kang, which I believe I just picked up yesterday. If the videos come out in the right order, this should have been in yesterday's video. And now, taking a look around a little bit more, we've got like fat gum over here, some t-shirt bundles, very similar to the last one we were at. And honestly, the only thing I think I'm gonna be picking up is this right here. Alrighty, so now we came into Walmart. And if I'm gonna be honest, I didn't really expect much in here, but they did have this. It is the common black Adam with the Blu-ray, which I thought was pretty cool. And then you had pointed out something, Dylan, that the sticker is actually on the outside. Yeah, on the outside and not in there, but it makes sense because this is normally a common pop. Right, well, so. What been cool is that there's also the chase for this. So imagine if there was the pop oh. for DVDs mm. and there's a chase for one of every six. I, I bet that might happen somewhere. If you guys have seen this, I don't know if it's in the States as well or maybe just in Canada, but if you see this with the chase, please let me know. And now taking a look here, guys, they actually have a couple different figures like the Good Cop Kramer, which I haven't seen here in a long time, as well as, check this out guys, the Def Leppard album, as well as the record. I think this is the first time we've ever seen these ones here in Canada. Alrighty, we're back, and let's get into everything that I picked up today, because honestly, it wasn't a lot of stuff, but what I did get was pretty cool. And I guess we'll start with Toys R Us, because that was the first store that we went to, where I only picked up one Funko Pop, but I did also pick up two sodas. And the figure that I got was this one here, the one that you guys saw, the Blacklight Santa Jack Skellington. And I gotta say that this one does look pretty good. I believe it was normally exclusive to Hot Topic, and if I'm gonna be honest, I don't know why they also got it over at Toys R Us, but I mean, I'm not complaining. And now looking 
looking on the back of the box here, I have Zero, Jack, Oogie Boogie, and then I think that might be it. I never did get the 10 and 20, even though that would be kind of cool to get. And if you guys want to see the rest of the set, here they are. Now let's get into the sodas, and it's kind of too bad today because the ones that I wanted, both of the sodas that I was looking for, they only had one of each. So let's just start with Vanellope and find out if I can get that chase because I have opened up a couple of her in the past and I still don't have it. Alrighty, we are looking for the scented version where she's holding the metal and uh, it's not. Yeah, this is definitely the normal version of Vanellope. She's got her hands to the sides and doesn't smell very good. And now I don't actually know what she smells like for the chase. So if anybody has pulled it before, please let me know what it is in the comment section below. Like my best guess would be like sugar cookie, maybe, or just like a normal kind of like scent that they would use, perhaps like lemon or something. I have no clue. And anyways, let's find out what we're going to be getting on this one here. Actually, before I open it up any farther, it is Sue You. And like I said, they only had one of this one left too. So if I don't get the chase here, I don't really know where I'm going to be getting it. And <laughs> we got another common one because the chase is completely clear. And this is definitely not that. It's definitely too bad, but we can't complain too much. And now let's get into the hidden store that I honestly had no clue existed. And I'm going to be honest, with you guys, I have no clue how I didn't know about the store because I always go to the mall right next door. And I'm probably going to be turning this into one of my regular stops because of the amount of Pokemon and figures they had. And now let's start with this one here, which was the Specialty Series Green Lantern that I got for $20. This figure is amazing. And it's kind of funny. I've been getting a couple Green Lanterns recently. I got the comic version and now I've got this one and they are both completely different. And that's honestly why I've been grabbing these because I feel like for a lot of the superheroes, their suits look very, very similar. But for those two, I mean, night and day. Like if you took both of them out of the box and put them next to each other, you might even think they're completely different characters. And then the other figure that I picked up while I was there was actually a pretty great one. And it was a lot cheaper than I expected it to be when I saw it. It was the Star Wars Smuggler's Bounty Captain Rex. And it's the unmasked version, which I really enjoy. I don't know if I mentioned this while I was there, but none of the collector's boxes shipped to Canada. So I really wasn't able to get any of them very easily. And the Star Wars one was not something that I ordered, even though I wish I had when they came out. And so now whenever I see figures like this, I try to go back and pick them up because I really do want them for the collection. And this one released back in 2017 and I'm finally getting it now. So I don't know, definitely a neat figure to have in the collection. And also looking on the back, I believe I now have every single, well, I guess this is an exclusive. So I had all of the common ones, but it's still nice to add something new to the collection. And so anyways, guys, that is everything for today. And MDK Collects, thank you so much for bringing me with you because it was seriously a lot of fun. But anyways, I'll see you guys tomorrow.